Gameplan.com with Football Made Sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and we're here at the National Football Foundation College Football Awards. We're taking a look at the Bushnell Cup, which is given to the Ivy League's top offensive player and defensive player of the year. So let's take a look at some of the sights, some of the sounds, and the winners from this year's Bushnell Cup. Tyler Varga is the ninth Yale Bulldog to win the Bushnell Cup, the 19th running back to do so. And when you listen to his head coach, Tony Reno, describe Varga the player and the person, you can see why he was named Ivy League Offensive Player of the Year. Um, Tyler Varga, a bit of a necessary thing you want a football player. He's a tough, physical, hard nose. A guy who plays on Saturday for 60 minutes with every ounce of energy he has and practices like that every week. Uh, his leadership skills for our team um, were incredible. His ability to transform our team and, and help help us go where we were to where we are and leave the mark on Yale and Yale football. Um, as a player of the 142nd team at Yale, we have heard for years to come. And today he joins the Grace and Ivy League. So Tyler, congratulations. And also uh, one time with the pleasure of his coaching. Varga has been a phenomenal football player for Yale since stepping foot on campus back in 2012, rushing for 935 yards as a sophomore, 627 yards as a junior, before putting together an outstanding senior campaign with 1,423 yards at 6.1 yards to carry and 22 rushing touchdowns. Varga was also a big reason for Yale's upset victory over Army, rushing for 185 yards at 6.6 .6 yards a carry and scoring a whopping five rushing touchdowns. Now here's Varga's thoughts on winning the Bushnell Cup. Uh, good, evening, good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I uh, just want to go thank everyone for being here this afternoon. It's truly an honor to be a part of this celebration of the football tradition here in the Ivy League. Every one of us as student athletes is, is blessed to be given an opportunity to attend such prestigious academic institutions and to have such a world of possibilities available to us. I think I want to reflect a bit on my experience here in the Ivy League. Uh, during the process of my transfer to Yale, I don't think I fully comprehended the tradition rich league into which I was stepping. Never had I experienced such deep rooted alumni support and the tradition that emanates within every organization, every program within our conference. Uh, this was definitely something that was new to me, and Yale in particular has provided me with an outstanding football experience, one that I will certainly draw on for the rest of my life. And never have I been a part of more, a more fun rivalry than the one that pits Yale against Harvard. Um, Obviously, we didn't come out on, on the, the winning end this year, but nonetheless, it was still a fabulous experience to play the game, um, and it was all that uh, that it was hyped up to be uh, when I was being uh, recruited to Yale. Um, so that came that came up nothing nothing short of uh, what was expected. Um, the real thing is what's amazing for all of us is that even as quickly as we're cast into the spotlight as Ivy League student athletes, it has all come to an end and it seems to be in an even more sudden fashion. What has been three years for myself has seemed like a semester's worth, if that. <coughs> Thinking about the whole experience, you begin to understand that the stay here is about a snapshot of what we all anticipate to be long lives. And sure, winning football games and championships is at the top of all of our goal sheets. And achieving those things means the most to us during our stays here. But ultimately, in your short careers as Ivy League athletes, it's the vast number of opportunities that are able to be available to us that really will serve us the most down the road and leave us with an impression of what the Ivy League can help us achieve. The average life expectancy in the United States is about 79 years old. Four years in college makes about 5% of that. Some fail to emphasize the importance of what it means and what, seem, and what seems to be such a small fraction, such a small, minute de detail in the grand scheme of life. But the truth is, life is about the details. 
Details are the things that make up the big picture. And in this 5% come some of the most determinant moments, some of the most integral pieces in shaping the rest of our lives. The Ivy League has given us the chance to make the most of our 5%. And for that, we must be grateful forever. <clears throat> I stand here today flattered to accept this award as part of an effort that is much larger than myself. I realize that I represent my family, my school, and my roots. And I want to extend a hand of thanks to some of those who have made being here today a possibility for me. First of all, I'd like to thank my loving mom and dad. Thank you for always being there for me. I truly don't know what I would do without you guys. I'd like to thank the rest of my family back in Canada and those scattered throughout various parts of the United States and Europe for their support. I'd like to thank my teammates and coaching staff and the rest of the Yale football family for being as much a part of this as I am. To my offensive line, to Coach Reno, Coach Ciotti, Mr. Beckett, thank you. Thank you all for the support from back home. For those who made the long trips from Canada these past few years, I know they're definitely a trek, but I always appreciate seeing the Canadian flags waving in the stands. And uh, you know, all I can say is I'm truly blessed to have support so many. I could go on forever uh, listing people who have helped me get into where I am today. Um, I'm just grateful for all the good fortune that's come, come my way. And I'm excited to work towards what's next. Thank you to everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Go Bulldogs.